Oh, oh, venison. Amazing. Of course, the meat can be pretty tough to chew. You know, you gotta expect that. Those muscles are pretty thick from all the flying they do. Hey, don't you think we should get this started? Oh, we ready to start? Hello, everyone. It's me, Santa. <laughs> means Christmas. Soon, Santa will be jet setting across the world, delivering presents and gifts to good little boys and girls. But only the good. The naughty will get nothing. That's all right, all you naughty little brats. Santa's putting you on notice. Santa has made his list, and he has quantified it and verified it to see that the naughty We'll get nothing. You'll be looking bad. I'll pop out your front two feet or shove a red cut coal up your ass. <laughs> and speaking of that list, why don't we take a look at it and see who's made the top nine? This is Santa's naughty list. Okay, first on our list is a naughty little boy who wouldn't listen to what his mother had to say. They were at the zoo one day, and she told him to stay close. What's he do? He goes off on his own. Starts fooling around and falls in a gorilla pit. That's right, I'm talking about that stupid Arambe kid. So, thanks to this naughty little boy, Harambe the gorilla is dead. He's gone, all because of you. Well, you know what, little mister? You're getting socked for Christmas. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not... Next on the list is Zack Snyder. Wait, Zack Snyder, the movie director? That's the one. He's on the list. Yeah, but why? Did you see Batman vs. Superman? Yeah, I saw it. So did I. That's why Zack Snyder's on the list. You better not pout, I'm telling you why. <sighs> Santa Next up on the list, we've got whoever robbed Kim Kardashian at gunpoint. So, already you've committed a crime which put you as on Santa's list. But you gotta go and rob her. That's just great. Now we all have to humanize and feel sorry for her. Thanks a lot, Jack Off. Cause it's coming to town. So there's one thing Santa's afraid of. It's Yetis. And there's two things Santa's afraid of. It's Yetis and global warming. There are three things that Santa's afraid of. Uh, it's Yetis, global warming, and clowns. That's right. I'm putting every asshole that was out there being a scary clown this year on the list. Try that shit at Santa's Village. See where it gets you. Let me tell you something about the North Pole. There are plenty of places where things and people can just disappear from. He's making a list. On the list, we've got the gold medalist in Fibbing. And that's right, I'm talking about Ryan Lockheed. We've all had a wild night in Rio or two. Santa's lived. He gets it. Sometimes you get piss-ass drunk, you go and vandalize a gas station, and you piss all over the place. When it comes time to pay the bill, you pay the bill and you keep your mouth shut. You don't make up some BS where the government robbed you and tell the whole world that. And when you get caught up in that lie, you don't just take off and leave your buddies behind. It's a douche move, Lockie. You ought to be lockied up. A list and he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. 
So a lot of you who follow football know that this Colin Kaepernick guy wouldn't stand up during the National Anthem. A lot of people were upset about it. Santa wasn't one. Santa's from the Arctic Circle. So why would I care if he doesn't stand up during the United States National Anthem? Well, one person who did care and had a sane mind about it was Kate Upton. This is unacceptable. You should be proud to be an American, especially on 9-11, when we should support each other. That's just so mean, Kate Upton. You've been a naughty little girl. But let me tell you something, you naughty little girl. If Santa was to find you, he'd put you over his knee and give you a big old spanking. That's how Santa handles naughty little girls. He gives them spankings. So watch out, Kate Upton. When I get a hold of you, I'm going to give you a spanking, you naughty little girl. Spanking! Santa! What? She's a naughty little girl. She deserves a spanking. What, because she said something you didn't like? That doesn't seem to make her naughty. Well, she's not the only one who said something mean against Kirkpatrick. What about Ruth Bader Ginsburg? She called him an idiot. You gonna spank Ruth Bader Ginsburg too? Uh, if she's been a naughty little girl, I'm gonna give her a spanking too. What about Mike Ditka? He said Kapakinik got to get out of the country. You going to get spanked, Mike Ditka? Okay, you got me. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to give Mike Ditka a spanking. I just, I just want to give Kate up to a spanking. Well, okay, well that brings me to the next person on the list. He knows when you're awake. So it looks like Santa has made his own naughty list this year for what he said about Kate Upton. I'm so sorry, Kate Upton. Sad is just a dirty old man trying to spank you and whatnot. I just, I'm a naughty little boy, so if you get a hold of me, don't be afraid to give the old Santa a spanking! Santa! Santa Claus is coming to town. Your stuff on my list is Jubilates the Turkey. Now you're probably asking, what has a turkey done to get on Santa's list? I think a better question is, what has this turkey done not to get on my list? I'm talking racketeering, extortion, money laundering, gun running, narcotics, political assassination, human trafficking. Yeah, this turkey's done it all. And this year, it looked like his crimes had finally caught up with him as he had been captured by the FDA. And he was set to take the axe and pay for his crimes. <laughs> that is until President Obama pardoned him. Good God, Obama. You just pardoned the world's most feathered fiend. You might not believe this or not, but you dodged the bullet by not electing Hillary Clinton president. Let me tell you, the things that she's done will turn your shit white. Oh, I've got so much on her just this year. And let me tell you, Santa's not afraid of her anymore. He's going to spill the beans. No beans will be spilled, I'm afraid. you that guy they made that movie about with that guy from Third Rock from the Sun? A2 Woodward. A2. Sorry, old Nick. It's the only way I can get my pardon. Eh, don't be sorry. <laughs>